Hi, I'm Eric Egley, commercial advertising photographer, and today we're going to take a look at the Zeppelin Deep Parabolic from Westcott. It is quickly becoming one of my favorite modifiers. So we're going to take a look at a couple different ways you can mount your light source to the Zeppelin, as well as different light patterns and qualities of light. I can do a lot of different things with this. I can create soft light with it. I can create a hard light edge with it. And I do a lot of traveling, so I'd rather have one modifier with me that I can do a lot with than several modifiers. And this fills that bill. This, the Zeppelin, gives me the options that I need when I get into certain circumstances on location. The Zeppelin we can use a bunch of different ways. We can use it as a traditional softbox where you mount the, your light source on the back facing forward. So in that, in that configuration, what we do is we would use an internal baffle in order to spread out that light so you don't have a hot center, center spot. And then we'd use the front panel to diffuse the light evenly for our subject. The other way, an optimal way, and the way I like doing it, is using the Zeppelin support arm where you mount the light actually on the end of the arm facing towards the back of the Zeppelin. Okay, what this does is it allows you to get maximum reflectance on the inside. You don't have any hot spot. You would actually use the front panel alone, no internal baffle, and you would get an extremely smooth, even light throughout the whole front panel. For myself, I like using no, pan no diffusion whatsoever. So we face that light source towards the back of the box. We get a nice, even reflectance throughout the box and we're able to focus it to the quality of light that I want in my images. And this gives me a nice, even light, but it's a harder edge light. And what that does is it helps me create contrast, texture, and better color saturation. Okay, and I like the specularity that you get, uh, which gives me more dimension to my images and to my subject. We can actually uh, flood and spot this particular modifier to the type of light, the quality of light that we're looking for. So this is really important and that's the whole purpose of using a deep parabolic because it allows us to manipulate that light to create a particular type of quality that you can't get with any other modifier. It's extremely important that we have something like a support arm to allow us to do that. So the beauty of the mounting arm is simply we're able to zoom this light pattern in and out. So essentially flooding it or spotting it. Uh, this allows us to change the, the quality of that light immensely. I mean, it's incredible how much it changes. As you can see right now, this is a full spot. Okay, so you can see on this edge, the edge of the light, a very, very quick fall off. We have a very tight edge on that light. If we go over to the, uh, the mounting arm and we slide that forward, what we're gonna see is a gradual flooding of the light. Okay, and the further we go, the further it floods. Now remember, our light is facing towards the back of the Zeppelin. So we have to remember that this is the only way you can do something like this is with the mounting arm. And as you can see now, we have a nice gradual fall off on the edge of that light. This comes in handy. It's a multitude of different uses, a multitude of different light patterns, and that versatility that I look for. So for the versatility of the Zeppelin, especially with the mounting arm, the pattern of light, and of course, one of the most important, the quality of light, these are the reasons that the Zeppelin has quickly become one of my favorite light modifiers.